Hey guys, today's video is going to be my uh, mid-month cash envelope check-in. So if you're interested in more about budgeting, stuffing cash envelopes, just being thrifty, and if you're uh, interested in a debt-free journey, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel by clicking that little red subscription button. Hello friends, welcome to the Thrifty Life of Sissy. My name is Sandra. Today's video is going to be uh, my weekly cash envelope check-in however this is my first time checking in this month in my envelopes so like i always say i try to check in weekly but that's not always possible it's and i always say it's always just good to check in like throughout the month on your envelopes so this is my first time checking in so this is not going to be week one i'm just going to say today is the 15th so Basically, like the second week, but the second week. All right, so what I'm going to do is just go in and check and see how much I have in each envelope. And that way, it'll help me with my spending um, for the rest of the month. To, so I won't like overspend too quickly. I don't want to deplete my envelopes before time. But some of them I already have, like personal. That didn't even stand a chance this month. It's zero in that one. Beauty is zero that went really fast um basically with the beauty william got his haircut but then he needed the little facial scrubbing brush i don't know the correct name for it but anyways it's like a little it's uh, about that long had a little brush at the end and it operates with batteries and then kelsey picked up a couple items um household and i did like the household envelope Okay, my household is saying, find me. This is strange. All that. Now, wait a minute. Coupon. Uh, hold on, guys. Oh. Okay, sorry, guys. So, I did take it out this weekend because... Um, I had said in a previous video, I was considering opening an Etsy shop. So uh, I decided I was going to give it a try. So this weekend, what I was doing was making some cash envelopes. And I was just playing around just to see. And I had uh, took this out of my Kate Spade agenda where I store some of my cash envelopes. And I went ahead and laminated it. So that's where it was at. And it is empty because I had said earlier that I knew I had to purchase large amounts of toilet paper. And Kroger's had that buy five, get five dollars off. So it was a perfect time for me to purchase what I needed. Hi, guys. This is just a reminder. Uh, if you have not done so, go ahead and click that little red subscribe button to your right hand side right there. If you're already subscribed to my channel, then it will be grayed out. Thank you. Coupons. I still have twenty dollars in that. But I will be using some money out of that because Kroger's has another mega sale. I think it's buy four, save four dollars, or is it buy three? It should be buy four, save four dollars. So I will be going to the newspaper stands this weekend. My miscellaneous envelope. It is, oh, I got a quarter in it. And that's strange because I don't count the change. Probably just fell in the envelope. Uh, when I dropped through the change in my purse. So it's zero dollars left. And I was really like, my goal was to try to make that last at least until closer to the end of the month, like having a little something left. But that didn't happen, as you can see. Bella is depleted as well. Nothing left in hers. Uh, and that's Pet. I had to get all her supplies and stuff. And also, I had. About $30 reward credit at Petco because at the end of November they had a sale where if you spend over $100 you get $25 back and she needed a new bed and little stuff like that so I went ahead and purchased that change is really falling and if you're wondering what I'm going to do with this change just in case you're new to my channel um, I have a coin joy that I empty my uh, purse 
take all the loose change out of my purse and put it in the uh, container. It's not a jar, actually. It's a plastic container. Okay, so was at, I was talking about groceries. And I haven't logged my receipts, so I will be uploading the video of all my spending as well. So 100, 200, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I still have 205 left. So I have just a little over half of my budgeted amount of groceries for the month left. So that's really good. But I knew I would because I had pantry items too. Like items in my pantry. Okay. Then I have family fun. And I also use like the family fun. Um, I, the, I take money out of the family fun envelope for like Kelsey basketball games and stuff to pay to enter the games. So for family fun, we have 20, 30, 1, 32, 33. 34 we have 34 dollars left so we still have over half our uh amount our budgeted amount for family fund which is still good i still think that's good because this is actually the middle of the month this is the 15th of the month it's the middle of the month so i think i'm doing fairly well with most of my envelopes my biggest ones that i have a great concern over is the budgeting and you know what I didn't bring, I don't have my calculator. So let's see how good I am with math. That's pretty decent in school. $34 plus 20, that's 54. And then 205, so that's $259 left. And all my envelopes that I have remaining. So friends, I hope you found something useful, like just, Maybe seeing how I budget and seeing getting something out of this video, how to better manage your money in your envelopes. I hope you would consider subscribing to my channel. And thank you so much for all my returning viewers as well as new any new viewers and new subscribers and all my returning subscribers. Thank you so much for all the love you always show me. Bye-bye.